My name is Amy Hill, and I live in Los Angeles, California, and I'm 61. I don't look a day over 60, I'm sure. I was born in Deadwood, South Dakota, and I have one brother and one sister. And uh, I also have a brother and a sister in Japan that are from a previous marriage of my mother's. I remember my childhood in Deadwood, South Dakota as being very bucolic, but also very uh, lonely because there were no other kids to play with because we lived on a farm. And my brother, who's older than me, didn't want to play with a young kid. So I played in my imagination, was very happy. And then at six, we moved to Seattle. Kids were mean. It was like, I think I preferred solitude. (laughs) Because getting to know children and learning how to interact with them was very difficult. My dreams growing up were pretty limited because I think I was aware of being sort of an outsider as a child. I didn't see anything uh, on television or in film that looked like me and uh, or my family (laughs) because my mother is Japanese and my dad is Finnish American. So um, I couldn't really imagine what I would become because I didn't see anything anywhere that looked like me. So uh, I think I always wanted to be an actor. I didn't know what an actor was, but I always did that performing thing from my childhood. And I think my mother was just hoping that we wouldn't go to jail or do anything horrible. And then by the time I was in high school, I realized I could maybe do something like act. So I uh, signed up for drama class. And that was the first time I had anybody even uh, support me in anything. I don't think I had a teacher up until then who said, yeah, wow, if you have a dream, go for it. I would like to be optimistic about the future. (laughs) But if I sit and think about things. I think because of social media, I'm more aware of how other people are thinking. And I'm concerned that we are still at a, in a time where um, the color of your skin or the circumstances that you're in uh, cause people to judge you before knowing you. And so I don't know if we've gone very far. I mean, we have laws on the books about justice and equality, but in reality, we are still facing a lot of hurdles. I would like to be remembered as having affected some kind of change, whether it just is in one person, like my daughter, (laughs) who's 14 now, who I think is, uh, you know, going through the teenage years of, oh my God, mom. Um, Or, you know, the audiences that I am in touch, you know, have contact with, or the shows that I write. I just want to know that I've left some kind of legacy that has changed anybody, made them think about something. That would be great.